Student Finance's Guide to a Gap Year, Series 1, Europe, Episode 3, Ireland. Welcome back to another episode of Student Finance. Today's video is a part of our Student Finance's Guide to a Gap Year series. This series will be detailing everything you need to know about taking the plunge into a gap year abroad as a student. We will be covering such topics as accommodation, transport, food, things to see and do, crypto usage, plus much more. In Episode 3, we will be delving into Ireland, home to the famous Irish hospitality, the rugged and magical landscapes, the hearty meals, and of course, a pint or two of Guinness. But before we begin, remember to drop a like if you enjoy this kind of content and want to see more. Plus, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you never miss any of our latest and greatest uploads. Okay, let's get into it. Accommodation Beginning with places to stay, Ireland has something for everyone. Quaint homes close to the sea, apartments in the bustling cities, and everything in between. In large cities like the capital Dublin, most flats and houses have been converted from other buildings into self-contained properties. They will all generally be terraced and not the biggest of properties in terms of floor space. However, what they lack in size, they make up for in character. Plus, all close to everything you will need including grocery shopping, bars, places to eat, clubs and all kinds of things to do. Transport most of the transport system in Ireland is in public hands, so you have a great train system, buses, train, and light rail, alongside modern airports. If driving is your thing, then the Irish motorways link together the main cities of Dublin, Cork, Limerick, Derry, Galway, and Waterford. In the urban areas, a lot of the Irish prefer to cycle around town due to how cheap it is, eco-friendly, and how narrow the Irish roads can be for large cars. Plus, it's good for you. If you're visiting Dublin, which I'm positive you will, the best way to get around is the Lewis. The light rail system links together all of the main parts of the capital. Food From lamb in spring to fish in summer, stews and soups in winter, and of course potatoes almost any time of the year. Irish food involves simple, hearty family cooking that follows the seasons. You'll soon become familiar with such local staples as coddle, which is essentially a slow-cooked stew containing sausages, bacon, and potatoes. Soda bread everywhere. The best natural Irish butter that you will have never tasted anything like in your life. Plus, some of the best seafood available in the world, such as the world-famous Dublin Bay prawns, Galway oysters, and fresh, delicious smoked salmon. It's no secret that the Irish like to drink. You'll find a friendly, welcoming pub pretty much anywhere you go for a pint of the black stuff, Guinness. Things to see and do Places to visit and attractions for tourists are abundant and infinitely varied. The state museums are all free. Heritage sites date to prehistory, and there are endless outdoor pursuits to enjoy countrywide, such as horse riding, golf, sailing, and numerous remote wild islands to explore. And of course, there's the famous Irish crack, meaning good time, to enjoy wherever you decide to go. Some places we would recommend are Grafton Street in Dublin for the best buskers, flower sellers, and performance artists, alongside some hidden gems of cafes and bars. The Rock of Cashel, which is Ireland's most visited heritage site, a beautiful assortment of buildings perched upon a limestone rock formation. Also, the famous English market in Cork, a special quirky market stocking the best of what the local produce has to offer. Crypto Usage Crypto usage in the Emerald Isles is pretty much the same as throughout the rest of Europe. Until recently, you were able to buy and trade crypto anonymously with no ID verification. However, that has recently changed to be more in line with the rest of the world where you have to verify your details to adhere to anti-money laundering regulations. Crypto mining is also fairly commonplace in Ireland. However, Ireland's central bank has been keen to highlight the negative environmental effects of virtual currency mining. Like most people who visit Ireland, we're sure that you'll fall in love with the friendly people, the stunning scenery, and the quirky traditions that the Emerald Isles is known for. Even after your gap year here, you'll be sure to be having the crack no matter where you are in the world. That brings us to the end of this episode of our Guide to a Gap Year series all about Ireland. What would you most look forward to if you were to spend your gap year in Ireland? Or have you visited before? 
let us know in the comments section down below. Before you go, if you enjoyed today's video, give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on our uploads. As always, thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon in another episode.